Welcome to two application problems that can be solved using the Pythagorean theorem. For a quick review, the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the lengths of the two legs of a right triangle, and c is the length of the hypotenuse. Looking at the first example, the owners of a house want to convert a stairway leading from the ground to their back porch into a ramp. The porch is three feet off the ground, and due to building regulations, the ramp must start 12 feet away from the base of the porch. How long will the ramp be? Round to the nearest tenth. We can use this right triangle to model the porch. Because the porch is three feet off the ground, the length of this leg is three feet. And because the ramp must start 12 feet away from the base of the porch, this leg has a length of 12 feet. Notice the missing length is a hypotenuse of the right triangle, which must be labeled C in the Pythagorean theorem. The two legs are labeled A and B, which can be interchanged. Let's label this leg A and this leg B. And now we can determine C using the Pythagorean theorem. So beginning with A squared plus B squared equals C squared, we substitute three for A and 12 for B. This gives us three squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. Simplifying the left side, three squared is nine, 12 squared is 144. And now we find the sum, nine plus 144 equals 153. The equation is 153 equals c squared. Our goal is to find c, not c squared, because c is a perfect square, and we know c must be positive because it's a length. We take the principal square root of both sides of the equation. On the right side, the square root of c squared simplifies to one factor of c. So c is equal to the square root of 153. 153 is not a perfect square, and therefore, we'll need to use the calculator to get a decimal approximation. So we enter the square root of 153, enter. Rounding to the tenths place value, because we have a six in the hundredths place value, we round up, and therefore we increase the three by one, this rounds to 12.4. So C is approximately 12.4, which means the ramp is approximately 12.4 feet long. Let's look at another example. A sailboat has a large sail in the shape of a right triangle, as shown here. So this is our right angle. The height of the sail is 15 feet, and the bottom edge is eight feet. Find the longest edge of the sail. So the long leg is 15 feet, and the short leg is eight feet. The missing side is the hypotenuse, which is the side opposite the right angle, which in the Pythagorean theorem, must be labeled C, and now we label the legs A and B, which can be interchanged. Let's label this leg A and this leg B. Now we can determine the length of the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem. We substitute eight for A and 15 for B, which will give us the equation eight squared plus 15 squared equals C squared. Simplifying the left side, eight squared equals 64, plus 15 squared equals 225, equals c squared. 64 plus 225 equals 289. 289 is equal to c squared. To solve for c, we take the square root of both sides of the equation, and we're taking the principal square root because we know c must be positive. The square root of c squared is equal to one factor of c. 289 is a perfect square. 289 equals 17 times 17. So let's write this as the square root of 17 squared, which simplifies perfectly to one factor of 17. So C equals 17, which means the longest edge of the sail, the hypotenuse, is 17 feet long. I hope you found this helpful.